Hi, I'm Dr. Cameron Webb and I'm 35 years old and I'm a medical entomologist. A medical entomologist studies insects and other arthropods that are of public health importance. My area of expertise is nuisance biting and disease carrying mosquito populations and their management. I love being a, a medical entomologist. Growing up, I don't think I ever thought that I would become an entomologist, but I definitely had a passion for the natural world around me. I became a medical entomologist by accident. Um, I studied environmental science at university and my background in ecological research of insect populations led me to work on mosquitoes, particularly mosquitoes associated with rehabilitated wetlands. That sort of piqued my interest and uh, I continued working in the field and it's uh, something that's fascinated me and I've, I've stuck to it. With my work, there's a, a lot of different aspects to both the field and laboratory work that I might do. In the field, we're very interested in determining the type of habitats that are productive for mosquitoes. We've got about 300 different types of mosquitoes in Australia, and each of those species have very different habitat associations. Some of them are associated with saline environments, some of them are associated with freshwater environments, and some of them breed in water holding containers in our backyards. It's important to go out into the field and sample immature mosquito populations by dip sampling in ponds and wetlands, or we can collect adult mosquitoes using carbon dioxide baited light traps. And what we can do is we can look at the mix of species that are in an area, identify those species to determine if there's any mosquitoes that can transmit disease, or if there's any mosquitoes there that might pose a significant nuisance biting threat. When we're identifying mosquitoes that we've collected in the field, when we bring them back to the laboratory, we need to look at them underneath the microscope. There's quite fine morphological differences in the mosquitoes that we use to determine their species. And it's important to know exactly what mosquitoes we're dealing with in the field, because each mosquito species differs in the propensity of it to bite humans, but also its ability to transmit disease. I guess to be a medical entomologist, some of the most important skills are attention to detail, particularly when you have to identify mosquito species on quite small and intricate morphological characteristics. Knowledge and an interest in statistics and data analysis are very important as well. But probably most important is an interest in doing a lot of work outside, particularly long hours during the summer. Unfortunately, mosquitoes don't stick to a five day week and so it means a lot of after hours and weekend work. Being a medical entomologist feels like a lot of work and it certainly uh, eats into a lot of your spare time. But I think that to do the job correctly, you have to be in tune to what's happening in, in nature in a way, because we need to know when it's raining or the tides are flooding the wetlands, it's impossible to look out your window and not think about how the climate is affecting mosquito populations. So from that point of view, I think it, it, there's, a, there's a gray area that blurs between what's work and what's a hobby. There's an increasing demand for people with expertise in fields that complement medical entomology. Whether that be virologists, microbiologists, or epidemiologists, there's certainly a great demand for those people to work in the field of medical entomology. Medical entomology contributes to the Australian economy and the community as a whole in a number of ways, but most importantly, it's through minimising human disease. When people are sick, it has an impact on the economy. And medical entomologists can help by developing new products that can reduce the impact of some of these mosquito-borne diseases on, on the human population. I think at the moment one of the biggest hotspots for, for mosquito populations in Australia is really our own backyards. We've got an obsession with conserving water and we've got pots and, and, and pans and buckets and, and containers in the backyard trying to store water. And it's important that we realise that these are potential mosquito breeding habitats. It doesn't matter where you are in Australia or what mosquitoes are around. The best way to stop being bitten is to wear insect repellent or to cover up when you're outside at dawn or dusk because they're the periods when mosquitoes are most active. If you're going to use an insect repellent, try to use a product that contains DEET or picaridin. These provide the best protection. I do love my job and I like balancing the aspects of being able to work in the environment but also make a contribution to uh, assisting public health as well.